Welcome to part two. Uh, my eye was just bothering me that whole time. Uh, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> I'm still trying to get through this. So, uh, continuing on with Yanka's questions, those are some of my uh, recent five movies I just recent um, just named from part one, going towards the end there. Uh, this is a lot of good movies out there. I'm just, it's so tough to pick like a top five. I like the transport. I like action event, uh, action movies too. Uh, you know, Born Supremacy. You know, Born Legacy. Uh, it's, it's different. It's so many different movies out there that you could pick and choose from. Uh, Child's Play with uh, Chucky, Chucky the Dog, the Killer Dog. <laughs> Just some other additional movies I like to uh, add in the mix there. In Nightmare on Elm Street. But um, so continuing on with Yaga's uh, questions here, he had, he also asked about what would be the worst multiplayer game that I play. Easy, Call of Duty Ghosts. I don't even like it. I just don't like it. I don't. It, the maps are too big. You can't see the connections. Uh, there's so much camping. Everyone uses the same weapons over and over. Uh, I, I just cannot get into it. I, I know there's probably other multiplayer games out there, but uh, that's just the worst one I can think of off the top of my head. Call of Duty Ghosts is the worst multiplayer game I play by far from the Call of Duty series. Uh, I couldn't really get into it, but the only thing that I can say that, that was good about it uh, was just the campaign. I just like the campaign. I don't know if there's gonna be a ghost too, because it in Call of Duty Ghost ended on with a cliff on a cliffhanger with the ending. The bad guy or the antagonist of the character was still alive. So I don't know uh, what's gonna happen. If they're gonna make a ghost too, or they're just gonna leave it. But I gotta just say a ghost. I don't know what happened there. Uh, and if I had, if I could pick one remaster game, if I could pick one game to be remastered, what would it be? I would definitely say, I would have to throw out there Spyro. I want to see a Spyro game. I would say Spyro the Dragon definitely deserves a remaster. They should do that since they did Crash Remaster. Look how amazing that do, uh, is. They're from the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, that looks phenomenal from the ground up. It looks like it's so beautiful from the ground up. Uh, another game, Modern Warfare 2. They should do Modern Warfare 2 since they did Call of Duty 4. Uh, well, the Modern Warfare remaster, they can definitely do Modern Warfare 2. For uh, for a remaster, it's only a different game they they will uh, they can do now. Ape Escape. I would like to see an Ape Escape remaster. If you guys heard of that game, because I mentioned that in part one too. One of my favorite lovable games. I would like to see remaster, especially if they can. And another one, just another one out there. Just thinking off the top of my head, this past year's E3, for example, was it uh, EA's? Con well, you no, know, but it was Ubisoft. Ubisoft's conference. Look, a game from. Several years ago, Beyond Good and Evil. Look what they did to that game. It's going to be Beyond Good and Evil 2. That game looks amazing. If they can do that, they can do Chrono Trigger. They can do all these different Final Fantasy games that they're already doing. Final Fantasy 7, they're already re, uh, remastering from the ground up. And then they also have a remake, a HD remake, that's going to be uh, non remastered, but it's just going to be playable on PS4. So if they can do games like that, they can do a ton of remasters. But those are just some of the uh, games I would uh, like to see remastered. But you can only do so many remasters. I'm ready for like inst new installments. I'm just it just the remasters just keep coming out over and over. They already did Final Fantasy X remaster. The, the the even though the graphics look good, the music just don't doesn't sound the same. It doesn't it turn out to be as good as the original music. But uh, even though it does sound good, nothing against the music for the remastered versions of the game. But uh, the, the original has always seem to have the better music. Look at games Final Fantasy X and Crash. The original Crash Bandicoot games. But it's a ton of games that they can probably remake from the ground up. And then, this is a tough one. Uh, I took some time to think about this one. And uh, he asked, what would be the hardest thing to give up and why? I would definitely have to say this, but I have to say uh, video games would be the tough thing to give up for me because well, anybody out there, for gamers out there, play, whether you play games or not, like hardcore like everyone else does as uh, fellow gamers, I can't think of anything else I would be doing that I love doing with a passion if I didn't have video games. What if video games didn't exist? And that's it. I would be, I think I would seriously be in a lot of trouble right now. I would probably be in trouble. Hell, I probably wouldn't even be here right now. And uh, video games has kept me out of trouble, for avoiding the wrong crowds, going out. So I know how everyone likes to party and turn up every weekend. I don't hang out with those type of people. I don't have those type of people in my circle. 
um, I avoid those type of people. They always have to party every weekend. They have to drink, smoke, do drugs all the time. They hang out with the wrong crowds. They end up getting in a lot of trouble, you know, starting beef with other people. And, you know, they wind up ending getting killed. I even have, just being open, I had some people in, you know, that I, I knew in the past, they're not here anymore. And uh, who knows what happened? They probably got in some trouble. But uh, I think video games has had a huge impact on my life. And uh, it, it, I definitely have to say just both this and video games because I'm doing gaming, mostly gaming here on the channel. But um, video games is definitely something that I will never give up. I don't care how people, if what other people have to say about it. I think as us being all gamers, whether you play a lot or not, even though you enjoy, whether or not you enjoy playing games all, on a daily basis, but I just think video games has had the biggest impact on my life. It's kept me from making the wrong turns, avoiding the wrong crowds, staying out of trouble. Uh, I'm drug free. I don't drink, smoke, or do anything like that. Never will. Uh, it definitely has helped me, and uh, and I'll be honest, games like Kingdom Hearts is one of the most inspirational games that I play. And, and these video game characters are not even real, and uh, I'll even throw out there outside of gaming, anime shows and cartoons. The characters are not real, but they teach you so many things. Games like you, uh, well, not games, but shows like Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, games like Kingdom Hearts. Uh, they teach you so many things. Never give up. Believe in yourself. Follow your dreams. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Never give up. Keep fighting. Fight for what you believe in. And, you know, Digimon, you know, characters like Ash catching from Pokemon. Um, he believes in themselves. And you just watch those type of characters in these shows. They fight and fight. And they never give up. They continue to fight, believe in themselves, and they teach you so many things. And I feel like the video games, outside the fun factor, they teach you so many things. They taught me stuff and uh, better than some people in real life would, uh, to be honest. And uh, I'm not afraid to share that. That's just from my opinion. In my, in my world of uh, video games, it has an impact on my life. I love it. I wouldn't give it up. And definitely this as well. Uh... It just it taught me a lot and kept me out of trouble and, and I, I don't know about anybody else out there who who could probably be able to say the same thing and uh, that's just something that I will never give up both of these things I will never give up at all and uh, I'm eager to find out uh, what what would you uh, what would be the hardest thing for you to give up uh, young and maybe others out there who want to uh, share in the comments but uh, I took some time to think about it and uh, I made my decision it was uh, I gotta say that was just a uh, a, a given just video games having an impact and just these cartoon characters that are unrealistic and characters like Sora and you know characters from Kingdom Hearts they definitely uh, inspire you and motivate you and just some of those motivational quotes that they uh, they say like Sora's heart wins those battles for him even from the first game against Riku uh, he didn't even have the keyblade to defend himself but his heart helped him stay alive and uh, fight to the end and games like that and Games like Kingdom Hearts is the perfect reason why video games have such an impact on my life. So, I hope that answers, that, answers your question. And uh, that's definitely something uh, I definitely wanted to uh, share with you guys. And uh, video games will just always have an impact on me going forward. And it will be something I will never give up and change. And also this as well because I love this so damn much that I wouldn't give it up for anything. Um, that was his last question. Uh, we're going to Pookie Vlogs with his question. Uh, I know he also asked about the clan, so I'm going to answer that uh, next. But uh, he's also been asking that from the stream, but I'm going to also answer that. I'm going to answer that as well in this video for the Q&A. He said, when will, you, when will you do a 12 hour live stream challenge? I don't think I'll be ready for that. I don't even think I want to do that. Uh, I went, the longest stream I went, I think was like almost five hours. I think it was the Model Warfare Master stream. I think, I think I went five hours straight from playing that game. I think that was the longest stream I've done. I hadn't even been streaming for that long. I'm still like a new streamer. But uh, I, as for the 12-hour live stream challenge, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I, I don't even feel like that's safe. That's a good uh, a good idea. And just, I, that's like half the day, basically. All-nighter. All <laughs> and then leading into an all, a 24-hour stream. I don't know. I don't think I can do that. But uh, he also asked about the clan. Will I make a clan like the Pablo clan? I didn't come up with like a, a clan name or anything like that. I would love to make a clan for fun for you guys to join in. Just put the Pow clan tag in. Uh, and some people actually made uh, 
emblems from Black Ops 2 that they sent me from Instagram that I kept, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. I might I might end up making a clan. Just nothing serious, nothing competitive. I used to be a part of a clan, do game battles in the past, but I don't, I don't do that. I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, it was just too much drama, and then some people just didn't play if unless I played because I was the best in the clan. But um, I wasn't even a leader. I was just the newest recruit, and I uh, beat the leader so bad they wanted me to be the leader. But uh, I would not never want to be make a clan to compete and do game, game battles and join tournaments and all that stuff like that. I wouldn't want to do that. But it might just be something for fun just for you guys to be a part of for like a group. But uh, I, I, I didn't make the video yet, but I don't know when if or if when people might be interested in joining, making a, me making a clan for you guys to join and be a part of. Connor Haynes is the, has the next questions here. Uh, he asked my favorite Mario character. I would have to say Mario, obviously. But some other characters I like is uh, I like Luigi, Wario, Waluigi. I think Wario needs another game for Wario World from the GameCube. We would, I would love to see a Wario World too. Uh, if you guys played that and heard of it, it's it's called Wario World on a Nintendo GameCube. I love that game. They should definitely make a Wario World too for that. I love that one. Uh, it was a uh, it was way different from WarioWare and uh. All that, all those other games, but uh, almost like Wario Land, but it was just for a console game. Um, I also like Peach too. She always gets kidnapped, kidnapped, kidnapped by uh, Bowser over and over and over and over and over all over again. But uh, Mario's definitely my top favorite. Favorite game? I, I basically answered this already. I can't really pr probably pick a, a game. There's so many different games out there. Sly Cooper, Mario, uh, Jack and Dash, all the different others um, that I mentioned from um, before. And he also asked, uh, my favorite Overwatch character, I, I like him, Reaper. Reaper's one of my best characters. Winston's another one of my best. Bastion, uh, Tracer's good. Genji, all the characters are good. Hey, I gotta say, from playing with Doomfist this week, uh, a few days <laughs> a few days ago on Thursday, uh, with Doomfist, he's one of my favorites. I was beasting with him. I had 14 eliminations. I was on fire. I even pulled a 4v1 uh, in the, during the stream. Uh, outnumber in the Doomfist elimination match. I, I killed all four of them. <laughs> uh, man, that was definitely a highlight. But Doomfist has definitely become one of my favorites for sure. Uh, but and to me, in my opinion, Overwatch has all the characters. All, all the characters in the game are good. There's no such thing as a bad character or a worse character in the game. I feel like any character you can any character can be good. It, it depends on the player. Because uh, some play, some people have different preferences. Some people prefer. Uh, to get the kills, they don't want to play support and heal people at all. Mercy is another favorite that I like. Lucio, uh, I even, even when someone doesn't pick a healer, I'll just pick a healer anyway, just to because there's no one else wants to. Everyone wants to kill and get all the kills and just be a part of the action. Oh, the support support is boring. I don't want to get any. I don't want to just be healing anybody. I want to be a part of the action. I gotta get my kills. You know that's that's just the kind of mentality people have in these online games. And just not even Overwatch, any first person shooter, objective based games, get the kills, headquarters, and uh, hardpoint, sabotage, let's get as many kills as we can, and then not play the objective. And then when we lose, let's point fingers at everybody else and blame the team. Next question is from uh, uh, several questions is from Julian. He said, How were you introduced into Call of Duty and how did, how did I get into it? Uh, I started as a Halo guy. Uh, in the past, I played a lot of Halo split screen on the Xbox, and then I started, I basically first started on Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, and some people still don't believe me to this very day that I used to be terrible at the game, uh, just looking at my skills now, I could never get like, more than two kills, seriously, every time I would just die, I was only good with the sh the, the melee, with the knife kill, with the uh, knife melee uh, only, I could never uh, beat my friends in split screen, I would always lose, come in last place, uh, but I'm even better now. Uh, I got good with the shotgun because I was the gun I was really rocking Halo. So of course I was already good with it in uh, Call of Duty once I started to pick up and uh, learn the mechanics and the maps and stuff like that. I love Call of Duty 4. It's still the best Call of Duty in my opinion alongside the Modern Warfare 2. My top two favorite Call of Duty games um, in, my in my opinion. He also asked a couple more questions. Uh, would you be open to do a podcast with subs solo or uh, or other YouTubers? I think that was the only question. The other 
final question you had. I would I would be open to do a podcast with Suggs. Maybe I can maybe make a a show like this and just sit down and talk about a different variety of things outside of this being a Q and A. Maybe I can do that as like a, a series that I can come up with. I don't know what would be a, a, a creative name I could probably come up with. Uh, I wouldn't be against uh, doing that a podcast, and maybe I can probably use that to maybe uh, create with alongside of a Discord for people to join in. Maybe I can do it like that for like a podcast for people to be a part of, and uh, I can probably make a video and say, "Hey, I'm going to be on Discord. People going, to, people can go ahead and join in right now, and then right now." While I'm recording right now, I can have people in a Discord chat or something like that. So maybe that could be something I can probably use the Discord for um, in the future. But I would definitely love to do it with uh, not just us, but others as well. But um, I don't know. I didn't even. I don't. I'll have to come up with like a name for a series. But that's a that's a good idea that I could probably do for a new series. Slash is seventy three. What was the best video you ever made on YouTube? Pokemon Go, my Pokemon Go videos uh, that went viral uh, last summer uh, in July, and basically I'm going to tell you guys the quick story, short and sweet. The game came out last summer. The game had tons of server problems. I still play the game consistently uh, for Pokemon Go. I played it since it first came out of last summer, July of uh, 2016, and uh, I made this video uh, when I first started. My friend actually uh, told me how to get started because I, I couldn't pick a starter, so I made a video about it. I was thinking I was having problems. I thought it was something wrong with my phone, but I put all I had to do was turn my location on of my phone, my location setting on my phone, so I could be able to pick a starter. So I ended up making a video about it, having problems with it, and so many uh, hundreds of thousands of people were having problems with it uh, alongside of me, and uh, over forty-seven thousand jumped on the video. I was commenting on every video. I'm on every single comment on that video, but outside of that. Once I learned how to play it um, and get the get the game to work, I did my own research. I took the time to do my own research and found out how to fix the game, fix those problems on how to boot the game up, what kind of phone you need, how much RAM you need, and stuff like that. I did my own individual research, and I, I, I could have been like, I'll just play the game for myself and just be selfish, or I could make my own video and share my uh share what the information that I found out about the game, how to fix the game, how to how to get it to work, what kind of phone do you need, how to fix the problems, what exactly do you have to, what kind of settings you need to have for your phone to get the game to work. And the game in the in the video went on just viral. I I don't even know what it's at right now. It went way past 47k. I could look at it right now uh and show you guys, but it's it's called How to Fix Pokemon Go how to fix problems with Pokemon Go for iOS and Android. That was the best video I ever made. It blew past the fatal error. Uh, it definitely just blew the fatal error video for Call of Duty 4 out of the water, which some of you guys basically found me from. But Pokemon Go has definitely been the best video I made. That was definitely the top video. It still is. It might even be more people, way even more people on there now. There's still comments on there every now and then. But I helped so many people on there. It was just like a, it was like I was running my own help surface for Niantic. Just uh, no one else was answering the comments. No one else was going to answer those comments. I answered every single comment. It's over 3,000 comments on that video. And growing, even more people are still jumping on there, asking questions, having problems with the game. But that was definitely my best video. Still on the channel. I didn't expect it to blow up like they did. It was amazing that so many people had the same problem. Some people were trying to get their games to work. And for just one single player person, I had to basically walk them through it, walk them through it with their phone. Uh, what kind of phone do you have? Where are you from? Uh, is your location turned on? Do you have enough RAM? What other stuff? What other apps do you have running on your phone? All those questions I had to ask for just one person. And I just imagine all those hundreds of people jumping on. I have to ask the same questions. I got to hope that they can respond. I had to maintain. I got to quickly respond and answer the questions. And then there's 50 more people are coming on. And every day that it came up, there was always a hundred more people to get to. It was a lot of people. It was a lot of work. My hands was just killing me. I was just typing all over my phone, just asking the same questions. Where are you from? Do, uh, do you have what kind of phone do you have? Some people didn't even have the right phones. Some people had to buy actual brand new phones to play the damn game. So that's it. And people didn't even know. 
They knew, some people didn't even have enough RAM. Some people had their games crashing over and over. They didn't know what was going on. I had to walk through everybody, uh, walk through each person, individual person of those uh, issues for just one single person, the same thing over and over. Pretty crazy, but it definitely worked out for me. And uh, I, I got to every last one of them too. <laughs> I kept it going. <laughs> I kept track of them. So Slasher, that was definitely the best video. It still is the best video out there here on the channel you're welcome to check it out too and some people even some of the people who were saying this guy's talking too much i'm walking through everybody's individual issues and i even say in the beginning if you don't want to hear me talk everything is listed in the description of the video people just don't listen i guess but uh it was pretty crazy <laughs> but those kind of comments were on there it's like I'm, I'm trying to help you out with the game you're trying to get your game working you want me to not ignore you want me to ignore your comment and hope that some other youtuber responds which some of them don't even respond to comments but uh that was basically it uh this the whole story for the uh, pokemon go those videos are viral still the best videos on the channel nat spending aka lex uh, has the next question he said, will you expand how many games you play? I already am right now. I play a lot of games right now that I still have to finish. Mass Effect, Crash the Saint Trilogy. Uh, some new games I'm getting into, like Marvel Heroes, Omega. I'm trying now. I just started, I just tried out Lawbreakers beta yesterday, last night. I'm, I'm liking the game. It's really fun. And then also, uh, someone brought up um, Dead Alliance, which is a new beta that's already out right now. It's so many different games that I want to play. Um... Uh, just to think of some of them, World War Two, uh, Destiny Two was pretty good too. Uh, the Destiny Two beta, but I don't even know if I'm gonna go back to it. I just felt motion sick from just playing it. I don't know what was going on, but uh, I don't know. I still enjoyed it, but I'm definitely expanding different types of games. And I'm playing mobile games, even these type of videos that I'm making right now. Hope I didn't skip anybody's questions. I'm trying to go back and make sure I didn't. So I'm on a roll right now. I'm gonna double check and make sure. Cause these are some long questions. I'm getting there though. I'm probably gonna. It's probably gonna go into three parts. I'm already at 22 minutes. Uh, let me see if I can quickly answer something. Shank has the next question from uh, Instagram. He said, "What inspires you to?" Oh, this is gonna be a long one. I, I probably won't. I won't be able to get into this one. He has a long question. It's just one uh, big question. This is gonna be a doozy. I gotta say. Uh, I'm definitely going to get into this one. This is something that uh, is probably most people probably want to really be interested in hearing. So I'm going to go ahead and go to part three. Uh, if you haven't, uh, you can go ahead and check out part one. And uh, just like I mentioned before, these will all be listed in the description of the video for uh, timestamps. So you guys can skip ahead just in case you don't. You guys don't want to watch the whole Q and A. And uh, if you're interested in hearing your specific question uh, being answered. But Shank asked a really good question. This is going to be crazy, but I'm definitely going to get real with this one. So I'll see you guys in part three.